Hello and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Windows Agent component of ArcServe UDP. ArcServe UDP Agent for Windows is a disk-based backup which allows you to protect and recover critical business information in a fast, simple, and reliable way. It also tracks changes on a machine and lets you perform frequent incremental backups as often as every 15 minutes. With this type of installation, configure your backup by specifying the backup settings. Available backup destinations include internal drive, external drive, or remote network share. Before you install the product, make sure your systems meet the software and hardware requirements to install the ArcServe UDP agent and your Windows account has the proper administrative privileges to install software on the systems where you plan to install the agent. For more information about these hardware and software requirements, see the ArcServe UDP compatibility matrix. Access the ArcServe UDP agent installation package from the ArcServe website or the product installation CD. Just double click the installation package and the license agreement dialog opens. Read and accept the terms of the licensing agreement on the license agreement dialog and click next. The installation type dialog opens. The agent component is selected to be installed. For instructions on how to install the full component, you can view the video, How to Install ArcServe Unified Data Protection. Also from the screen, specify if you want to install the ArcServe UDP agent change tracking driver. This driver lets you perform a local backup using the ArcServe UDP agent for Windows. By default, this option is selected. Without this driver installed, the agent cannot perform a local backup. However, with this driver installed, you would still need to have a valid ArcServe UDP agent for Windows license to perform a local backup. You can install this driver at any time after the installation is complete by running the install driver.bat utility. Click Next and the destination folder dialog opens. From this screen, specify or browse to the location where you want to install the ArcServe UDP agent. As you can see, this field is pre-populated with the default location. You can accept the default path or specify an alternative path. Click Next and the configuration dialog opens. From this screen, specify if you want to use HTTP or HTTPS for web communication. For more secure communications, HTTPS is the recommended communication protocol. You can change the communication protocol at any time after installation. Enter the port number for the agent. The port number is used to connect to the web-based UI, which creates a unique communication connection. By default, 8014 is the port value for the agent. If you decide not to use the default port, you can specify your own port number to be used. You would just have to verify that the specified port number is free and available for use. You will not be able to install the agent if the port is not available. Next, enter the Windows Administrator username and password. And then specify if you want to display the ArcServe UDP Agent Monitor for all users or only the current user. And then click Next and the Firewall Exceptions dialog opens. The Firewall Exceptions dialog lists the services and programs to be registered to Windows Firewall as exceptions for the ArcServe UDP agent. These are required if you want to configure and manage the agent from remote machines. Click Install to launch the installation process. The Installation Progress dialog is displayed, indicating the status of the installation. When the installation is complete, the Installation Report Summary dialog is displayed and automatically performs the product configuration. As an option, you can check if there are any product updates since the last release by selecting the Check for an Update Immediately checkbox. This option is checked by default. Finally, from this screen, you can also install the ArcServe UDP agent for Linux by clicking on the link provided and following the download instructions. Then click Finish. When checking for updates, the Check for Updates dialog opens where you can download the updates from the CA server or the staging server. Then click the Download and Install Updates button. Then click Finish when it completes. Now to complete the installation, you must restart your system. You can then log into the agent to restore files, folders, volumes, applications, and even perform a bare metal recovery from a single backup. In addition, you can also copy, 
and restore backed up data from your specified cloud storage location. That's it. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.